Matrix figure I've ever seen. <laughs> What's up you guys, Sean Miss Prime here doing another Hot Toys figure review on the Avengers Movie Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece MMS 229 1-6 scale Bruce Banner figure. This figure came from Big Bad Toy Store. If you want to get one of these, you can get it there. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So this figure comes in standard sized packaging. You get a picture of Mark Ruffalo holding his glasses. And it looks like his eyes are turning green, but I don't really think so. I think I'm just imagining that. Looks pretty cool. We get this Avengers embossed right here in silver. Then there's also kind of like a glossy Avengers logo going Going around in a circle, it's kind of tricky to see. Yeah, you can see it right there. Woo, so shiny. It says uh, Hot Toys uh, Movie Masterpiece. And then over here has the radioactive symbol. And then we get a warning label, radioactive symbol again. And for a packaging size comparison, here's Bruce Banner compared to the Hulk. I really like this inverted packaging over here where it's purple with the green up top right there. And this guy's green with the purple up top right over here. And then lift this up and then we get the Bruce Banner figure right there and reflection of my light and then the Avengers logo. Same kind of thing that we had except we have the cast and crew right here and then we have on the bottom Bruce Banner again. So yeah, let's get to it and crack this thing it's open. It's not a doll, it's an action figure. It's not a doll, it's an action figure. Man, this is very close to having a doll. This is the closest thing to having a doll for me in my collection anyway, but it is a cool figure. I'm going to call it an action figure, but anybody wanting to call it a doll, I'm not going to hate him for it, all right? Uh, he does have plastic hair. That's a big difference for me anyway, but I really like this tailored suit. Hot Toys did a really, really good job at tailoring this suit, just like how they did on the Wolverine figure that had just come out. So here's a 360 look at this Bruce Banner figure. I thought Mark Ruffalo was the best part of the Avengers movie. I absolutely loved the Hulk in that movie, and his Bruce Banner portrayal was just too awesome. I really, really liked it a lot. All right, so let's take a closer look at the accessories of this figure and then we'll take a closer look at the face sculpt. And as with all Hot Toys figures, they come with these instructions over here which you want to follow before you really start messing with the figure. For example, it shows you how to put the scepter in his hand. You want to follow the directions carefully or you can damage the figure. So first he comes with a standard adjustable cradle. It says Bruce Banner right here at the bottom and then we get the Avengers logo right here and then this moves up and down and it spreads out as you move it up and it gets closer together as you push it downward. And the figure comes with eight different interchangeable hands. So he has two wide open hands over here. He has two relaxed palm hands, he has two fist hands, then he has one right hand which holds the spear, and he has one left hand which you could use to hold his glasses or anything else I guess. Comes with two extra wrist pegs over here and some extra buttons for his suit in case you ruin those. He comes with Loki's short spear which is awesome. I really like this paint detail on here. You can really see the paint shading on this looks just beautiful. I like the way the gem is sculpted. This is awesome. The way this gold looks too. It's not just solid gold, it has some shading to it. I think it's wonderfully sculpted and wonderfully painted. And it's definitely worth noting that this is the same exact spear that we had gotten with the Loki figure. Uh, Loki comes with two of these. One of them is much larger, but the short spears are exactly the same, except for one paint detail, which is uh, the one that comes with Bruce Banner has silver painted over here, and this one has gold painted right over there. And Bruce also comes with this watch, which is very, very small. And I like how the band on the watch is actually made out of a pliable material, so it's not too hard putting it on his wrist or anything. Nice silver paint application right there. You actually see some stitching sculpted in there. It's really tough getting a clear shot at all the digits on that watch, but damn, if you can see it, it looks amazing. Great, great attention to detail. You even have the hands over there. You even have the second hand on there. You can see it's red. And then the most frustrating part of the figure are these glasses. They look great, but man, this is not really fun applying these glasses onto the Bruce Banner face. But they look fantastic. Like I just said, you know, silver paint applications throughout the rim of the glasses, and then we have this clear plastic. And they're surprisingly strong. I've dropped them numerous times and when you're applying these onto the Bruce Banner figure Please be sure to do it over a carpeted area or over a table So you not drop them and you spend hours digging around on the floor I gotta say Hot Toys has hit it out of the park with the face sculpt on this figure. This looks just like Mark Ruffalo This is incredible Very very impressive He even has this underbite thing going on kind of resembling some of his inner demons or his frustration Look at that and he even got the little gray hair right there by the sideburns the hair is sculpted very nicely. Nice paint variation in the hair. That looks awesome. Very dead on. See, so he's got some redness by his ear over there. Some more of that gray by the sideburns. Just a very cool looking piece. Looking at it from a three quarter angle, I think it really looks like him a little bit more though. That is awesome. His chin and everything, it really looks like Mark Ruffalo. This is great. 
Like I said, applying the glasses is pretty tricky. As you can see, there's a very small hole right here and another one right over there. Then these guys just rest in those holes so let's try to get up oh, there it goes and after only a second attempt I got the glasses in there and it looks great man look at that that is really well done I really can't tell whether I want to leave the figure displayed with the glasses on or off and getting Bruce to hold his glasses is a little tricky as well but it's not too bad if you have him holding it closer to the actual glass part of these things and not just the rim and there you go, he can hold it pretty well. And then getting Bruce to hold his scepter, it says you could peel the thumb back a little bit just to wedge this in here. So let's get this in like... It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. That fits in nicely. And like I said earlier, the tailoring on this suit is very well done. It's a nice brown suit. We have a couple of pockets right over here. It's pretty neat. And then looking at the seams and everything on this, it's pretty cool. I have the watch applied right over there. Looks pretty nice. All the stitching on this is, is very well done. And the shirt looks pretty cool. I'm going to remove this coat in a minute. Oh yeah, the inner lining for this is beautiful too. Look at that. Nicely done. And he has no belt as he should not have a belt. And they're consistent with this looking pretty good on the pants and everything too. There's a way you can have him sagging so it looks like his pants are a little baggier. Then his moccasins look pretty nice too. Very nice detail on his shoes. I really like that a lot. They have some really nice shading on here that just looks great. I like it a lot. That is just beautiful. All this little sculpted lines right here around the side. Even at the bottom of his shoes. This is awesome. One thing that's a bummer about these shoes though is that they kind of swoop up right here towards the tip of the toes and that makes it a little difficult for standing. And he's looking at the back of the figure. Looking really cool. And it has this cut right here at the back of his blazer or his coat. Nice buttons right there by the cuff. Very realistic, man. This is very impressive. Now the articulation on this guy is not too bad. I'm going to show you the articulation with the suit on so you can see how it restricts the figure. It's not too bad, actually. So you can move the head up a reasonable amount. He moves up that much, and then head can move down that far as well. He also has a neck joint in here. It allows for some movement. You get the head pivot here as well, and you can rotate side to side, obviously. But the neck also moves up and down some. It's kind of tricky to see, which is a good thing. He actually has some nice ball jointed shoulders. You can move them all the way out that way and you can move them forward quite a bit as well. Let's see if I can get this working and I don't know due to the suit it can only really move up that high. He actually has an armpit joint in here as well. He has a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. They can move in that far which is pretty good for having the suit on. He can move his wrists side to side and up and down. He has a diaphragm joint that allows some crunching so you can get him to crunch forward and backwards. He also has a waist swivel that moves side to side and that allows some crunching as well as well as some side to side movement with both the diaphragm joint and the waist joint it is kind of hard to move that stuff around though while he has this shirt on it, it kind of makes me not want to move it too much because I don't want to untuck his shirt anyway he has hip joints that can move out that far that's kind of funny but yeah you can move his legs out that much and he can kick all the way forward he has no socks which is a little frustrating he has an upper thigh swivel double jointed knees so he can bend in that far god that looks terrible and then he has ankles that can move side to side you can move him back and forward and he has a beautiful ankle pivot now I think I prefer how this figure looks with his suit off, so I'm going to try to take it off for you guys over here, and let's see, yeah, it sounds right, I'm going to take it off for you guys. Okay, so actually you want to remove the hands before anything else, popping these off, and then I'm actually going to remove the watch over here as well, and then just kind of like how you would on a regular person, kind of swing the arms backwards, and then fold this stuff back over here, and then just slip the suit off. Ugh. Great, yeah. This is not really the funnest part for me, but here's the suit and here's the shirt. Now, one thing that I do when putting the suit back on, which is the least fun part of this figure, because what happens is that his cuffs are not really buttoned together or anything, and neither is the top of his shirt, by the way. I actually wanted to see if I could unbutton this to make it look like he was, you know, kind of like tearing his shirt off because he was so angry, but no, you can't really remove this, or I don't want to keep trying because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. But anyway, these cuffs aren't closed or anything, so when you try putting the sleeve 
sleeves of the jacket back on, it just bunches this up and it just sucks. So my recommendation is to use one of these clear rubber band things and tie it around the end of the cuff right over there and then that way it'll stay together and then you could roll it up and then you could take this off and then put it on the other side and put that sleeve on. And here's the figure with his sleeves rolled up and I think this is the coolest look. No jacket, sleeves rolled up and he's holding both of his accessories. He has the scepter and he has his glasses in his hands. This looks really cool. I think this is how I'm going to have him displayed. Now this being a 1-6 scale figure, Bruce Banner stands just at 12 inches tall. And here he is standing next to the Hot Toys Tony Stark the Mechanic figure and Bruce stands just a little taller than Tony. And here he is next to the Hot Toys First Avenger Captain America figure. And the Hot Toys Wolverine figure. And then here he is next to the Hot Toys Avengers Hulk. And seeing these two figures side by side is just awesome. Awesome. A couple of details though, they don't have the same colored pants, which doesn't really bother me too much. I prefer that they went with this color on the Hulk figure, but these two figures look great. Unfortunately, neither of them having raging faces. Now, Hot Toys has actually released another version of these two figures that are sold together in one big box and it comes with another uh, accessory that I don't have that doesn't come with either of these figures when you buy them individually. But one thing Optobotomist said in his review of that two pack is that he wishes Bruce Banner came with an alternate face where he looked like he was raging out to get a more transformation kind of display going with the two figures and I have to agree with that 100%. That would have been pretty cool. And then to compare Bruce to another green meanie, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Overall I gotta say this is a pretty decent figure, but it's 200 bucks, man. After shipping and everything, you're looking at a $200 purchase with this guy, and I really don't think it's worth it unless you're a huge Mark Ruffalo fan or Bruce Banner fan in his performance of the Avengers, which I am. I really, really loved his performance in that movie. I thought it was fantastic, but for 200 bucks, I think most people would rather spend $200 on something else. A different Hot Toys figure can go farther. The Amazing Spider-Man figure, the Wolverine figure, both of those were around the same price, and they came with a lot more stuff and I think the fun factor with those figures are just much higher than this guy over here. Even though I do like the figure, really wish he came with an interchangeable face of some sort, that would have sent it over the top. I can't really tell you that this is the best place to put your $200 if you're shopping for hot toys. I just gotta be honest about that. But anyway, I like the figure. Please check out MarvelousNews.com for a full gallery of images. I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures with this guy, especially with him and the Hot Toys Hulk figure. Hit the like button if you liked the video, leave a comment, and do not forget to subscribe. I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. I was kind of hoping the Bruce Banner figure would come out with a really...